Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today we'll be continuing our series on the selection methods in Photoshop by discussing the marquee tools. So we're going to open up Photoshop and you can find the marquee tools over in your toolbar. They're the second tool down and these are definitely one of the most basic tools for making selections in Photoshop um, but they can also be very helpful. So you can see here that we have four tools and we're going to be starting with the rectangular marquee tool. So basically you just select that and then you can just drag out a selection of any kind of rectangular shape and if you want it to be a perfect square then you can hold shift and drag and you will have a perfect square uh, selection. So if you want some more options you can also get feathering up here. You can change the style from uh, normal where basically you can drag it out however you want to a fixed ratio or to a fixed size. Um, you can also use the new refine edge tool if you need to refine your selection. So along with this um, tool you can basically also do a couple other things. So I'm just going to take and drag out a selection. I already mentioned that you can hold shift in order to make a square. But you can also take and hold the space bar in order to drag around your selection um, while you're making it. Now once you uh, apply your selection by releasing your mouse uh, you won't be able to do this anymore but this helps you to position it where you might want it to go. Um, if you want it to scale from the middle, you can see that scaling from this um, top left corner right now, if you want it to scale from the middle, what you're going to do is to hold Alt, and you can see, I'm going to start making a new selection, you can see that it's going to start scaling from the middle of the selection, so you can see that the middle is somewhere right in here. So that can also be helpful um, while making selections. Now with this tool, if you want to add to a selection, like always, you can hold shift and you'll see your cursor gets a little plus and you can just drag and add to the selection. And if you want to subtract anything from the selection, you can hold alt and also just delete it out. Now once you have your selection made, you also have a number of tools, as with any selection, um, that you can gain by right clicking. So you can also, you can deselect what you've selected, you can select the inverse, which would select everything but what the ants, the marching ants as they're called, are going around. You can feather it, you can refine the edge, you can save the selection, you can cut the selection, which is definitely one of my favorite things to do. So it would cut the shape out of the black background and put it on its new layer. Um, you can make a copy in the same way. You can free transform and uh, transform your selections. Um, these are things I haven't talked about yet, but these can be very helpful. Um, if you want to free transform, then what that's going to do is it's actually going to transform the shape. Um, so you can see what happens if I do that. It actually transforms the shape that you've made. So what you're probably going to want to do is right click and go to transform selection. And then what you can do is you can actually just transform where the actual selection is rather than the shape that it's encompassing. And if you right click again you can do some different things such as skewing it and you can just drag a corner and get some really cool different shapes that you wouldn't be able to get um, normally with just um, without using the transform options. So uh, moving on we have the elliptical marquee tool which is basically the exact same thing as the um, rectangular marquee tool. You can see that you can basically make ovals, circles, ellipses. Um, by Again, by holding shift, you're going to be able to make a perfect circle. So that's basically the same thing. You have the same options as before um, while right clicking and at the top. So uh, lastly, you have two other options and these are basically um, very similar. You have the single row marquee tool and you have the single column marquee tool. Now what these are gonna do is I'm just gonna first deselect and then I'm going to grab the single row marquee tool and what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to basically drag out a horizontal line. So I'm just going to release and I'm just going to do right click and layer via cut so I can show you exactly what's happening there. So if I turn this layer off that we just made, you can see that it puts a hole uh, transparency through the black background layer. And you can see if we zoom in, it's going to get kind of crazy there. Um, you can see what it's done is basically drug uh, one pixel um, radius all the way across. So it's basically selected a one pixel row from the background and it's allowed us to select that. So um, it might be very hard, you'd have to zoom in all the way in here and then you'd have to very carefully go all the way across um, with maybe the rectangular marquee if you were trying to select that, but this tool allows you to select it all the way across instantly, one pixel wide. And then the column allows you to do the exact same thing except in a vertical fashion. So I hope you guys learned something in today's tutorial. Um, these can be very versatile tools. You can make very quick selections if you just need to um, crop something or pull it off of a layer um, or something like that. Um, I use these tools all the time and they're simple, they're fast, they're easy to use. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment and I'll see you in the next video.